Hello, my name is Lizzie Main and today I'm going to show you how to make one line of a shape perforated. Uh, there was a question on a, a group on Facebook that I belong to to do with cameo um, silhouette related um, issues and um, someone on there asked is there a way of making just one line of a shape perforated for folding? Now I'm going to show you how this is done. I'll just move these two shapes to the side. First of all you want to draw a rectangle. Now I'm just going to use the lines of the grid to guesstimate my rectangle. I mean I could be more precise but I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. And I'm also going to draw a circle. Let's move that down a bit. Now with the circle we want to bring up the nodes of the circle. Now you can either go to the node tool once you've selected your shape and go to the node tool and you want to edit the points or there's another way if you double click your shape the nodes will come up now we want to say make this portion here into a perforated line so you select the top node and while you're holding the shift key select the other node we now have two nodes selected you want to go to the point editing that will come up when you click the nodes on the left hand side and we want to break apart it doesn't look like much has happened there and the only way to see that has happened is we want to release the compound path on that again nothing looks like it's happened but if you click on the portion that you th that was broken apart you can now see that it's separate I'll just Control Z that, undo that, just to bring that back. We now go up to the, the line style tool and select one of the perforated choices. And now you can see that part of your circle is now perforated. You can do the same for the rectangle. If you wanted one of your edges to be perforated, you go through the same operations. Double click to bring up the node tool select one of your nodes that you want and see if you wanted this right hand side perforated hold the shift key and select the bottom node go to your point editing tool break apart again nothing looks like it's happened I'm going to deselect that by clicking on the select tool at the top right click release the compound path now to make sure that that's happened nothing looks like it's happened at the moment so just click on that there it is just that part is selected you go to your line style tool and click perforations and you can click any style of perforations you can't really see much there let me just move that off the grid and then you can see it there you go you think well okay that's fine but what about if I want to make a perforation in the middle of my rectangle let me just control Z that to bring that back to the grid. I'm now going to double click the, port, the portion of the rectangle left and I think well okay perhaps I want my perforations to go from this point to this point. Now we need to add nodes at this point so in order to add a node you just get your no node cursor onto the point where you want to add it and you just click the line you've now added a node and you do the same to the other position you want to add a node again now by doing that you've deselected the other node the white little box around it means that that node is selected now to select the other node you hold the shift key again and you go back to select it now both little boxes have become white which means that that portion of the rectangle has been selected we now want to go back up and do the break path. Again we have to go to deselect it, right click and release the compound path, click the portion that you want to change into a dashed line, go up to your line style and select your line of dashes. I'll just move that off so you can see. There we go. That's how you make a portion of a shape into a perforated line. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.